Okay, this is the royal family of Serbia, and they left there, and just as I was told, if I'm going to be against them, they will leave Serbia. They built... They don't really have much, but in 1995, when it all started, these people have absolutely nothing. The papa was some kind of, in finance, say, some kind of brokerage, he was doing something like this. Uh, other than that, these people were a mega, mega vagabonds. These people were a social handouts of the British royal family, which attempted to reinstall them through my case. Basically, using me, just as I have explained, to install this family, but basically falsely claiming on how they even help economically Serbia and so on. This is the way it was, right? So in 2019, they gave them some kind of castle, which they lost after the World War II because they collaborated with Adolf Hitler. These were like the main collaborators of Adolf Hitler on the Balkans. So. They signed the pact with the Hitler and they ended up running. I'm sure you can hear the sirens, sirens that are doing no good to them whatsoever. Let's listen to the sirens a little bit. You see, today I have published this news. In fact, I just did. So let's see what kind of news this is. Well, this is entirely in English. It's not going to be even difficult to read this news. Increase that a little bit like this. It's basically the news that clearly explains what is going on in Slovenia in respect to collateral cancer rates. And so it's in Slovenia and in Slovakia. It totally, totally explains the rate when compared to the Czech Republic, uh, to whom Slovakia and Slovenia is what Slo uh, Slovakia and Czech Republic is what Slovenia is most related to. Um, mainly appears in the males females are not even listed anywhere uh, is, and it's obviously a political cleansing, ethnic cleansing is what this is. So this is what excited them. They think that with the sirens they're actually accomplishing something. They think with the sirens they're actually doing something that they are eventually something this is just a video about Fara George of his family. Like I said, Hitler collaborators. And you can go ahead and you can just... What you should just do is just click on their link. This is their personal link. And you can see their website. I'm video recording this stuff because this is the stuff is going to disappear from the website. You see, these are like a cockroaches. Once you flash the light on them, the only thing that happens is they disappear. A new, if you want, in a parenthesis, a Yugoslav movement in post-Yugoslavia, yeah, therefore throughout the right of independent republics that came to life, in Slovenia, that was after 1990. In other countries, later on, as a severe massacre took against people. In Croatia, in Bosnia, in Kosovo, Macedonia took her own route. Montenegro, which is practically a Serbia, maybe even more pure Serbia than what Serbia alone is, did no longer saw herself in a circle of this country.
was to use two currents, two stream, two streams. Number one stream was through the ethnic cleansing that would be performed uh, in the name of the Chetnik movement, basically that would be supported from the West, basically to use the current from London, uh, the Buckingham Palace, the royalties which are supporting this kind of movements throughout the world, and therefore it didn't matter, really. It really, really didn't matter. Uh, let's just go back here. They're gonna flash these cockroaches. This is no... No way. We're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do this thing. Google that kind of stuff. You just have to go and enter the name of the family and you're gonna pretty much get a really, really good idea about what exactly you are dealing with here. In case you're not familiar with this great Chetnik family, um, in that case you should get familiarized with. Uh, this is what, this is how they led the war in Croatia. Um, in this very village we have had a really, really prominent Chetniks and what was the most, the most, the most impressive of it, let's say a Karadzic, all of them. He would appear inside of this village with a beard, with a beard he had already when he was hiding himself and he would walk through the village and the word eventually even came on ears of Americans, they find out about that Karadzic was inside of this very village when there was a huge wanted list on his ass. And he would walk inside here, he told me inside of this village when they brought me here, don't you remember me, how you don't remember, and this with the anger. Now that Americans were so afraid of this case, that would come to life through the news like this, that they would not even meddle in something mentioned like Slovenia, not this village or something like this, but Slovenia. This is how afraid of my case American diplomacy was, and still is. In case you're not familiarized with the Chetnik movement, these are a military fraction which supported this individual here, this family here. Um, well, you can recognize, I'm sure, individual I have spoken about, and you can recognize that with the Charles, with Elizabeth, you can recognize them, you can recognize these people. It's an option that was financed, supported financially from the Buckingham Palace, but it was far, far, far insufficient to exist. Uh, to do basically anything about it. That's why they have used me. What exactly happened through me? Well, what happened through me is what Buckingham Palace and what Berlin started gained traction and eventually the companies from China developed Serbia. They built infrastructure, road infrastructures, placed companies in there. Fiat brought own company to the Serbia. Companies appeared throughout, you know, because it was a motto, whatever they would have me, it was always, we're gonna put this, we're gonna put that, but help this guy. I became like some kind of moho, if you want, for the business people, for the politicians to be around with. If you were around me, that means you could secure yourself a financing, a newest technologies that would help you to survive on a market. Um, and you, to you as an investor, a good profit too, because you would get the pot potential markets and stuff. So this is what these people attempted to take credit for even through my case. Now I was even hospitalized inside of the mental hospitals. They tried to get rid of me, several assassination attempts took place and other stuff.
It's because they deemed I was no longer necessary. I was more of a trouble, liability than anything else. The plan A, therefore, was to use a Buckingham Palace, literally the West, to accomplish Yugoslavia. The brainwash from the Bagler they created that knocked on the doors of the partisans in Slovenia stated that it doesn't matter how we build this new Yugoslavia, if only possible, with their help, with their assistance, what matters is that we live together. And I have to say that Slovenian partisan movement eventually embraced this kind of ideology through this individual right here. There were two individuals. This is a Slovenian president. His name is Borut Pahar. And then there is that other black sheep, if you want to, if you like, who supposedly is the opposite of him. But unfortunately, he is closely associated with the Chetnik movement. Yes, he represents Bela Garda, White Guards. That was Slovenian fraction of neo-Nazi collaborators, equivalent to Chetniks. And this is how they found the common interests. All this was supported by the Vladimir Putin, who alone is very, very motivated in becoming a Russian Tsar. He would love to throw down legacy of Lenin, using Stalin for those kind of purposes. This is an ex-communist that was a hat at one time of the Communist Party and then just took 180 degree turnabout um, and have never denounced communism, however, he needs in churches, oftentimes in front of the altar. He does that. He does that kind of stuff. He's also a hater of the black people, the Black Lives Matters, of the civil movements in the United States of America. Basically, the people that stand for freedom on the West in general. These are just a sad facts about the newly new attempt to reestablish. Here you can see the Chetniks right here. You can see it. They're not shy of that kind of stuff, and that's very nice of them. I really appreciate. I am actually thankful to them for being that honest. That's really, really impressive to me. That's very, very nice that they eventually at least portion of this disgrace is the Serbian people are alone. They call them alone disgrace. They don't mind to share with the world through their personal website. It is one disgrace. The ethnic genocide, the ethnic cleansing against Slovenian people is very, very real. And it's not short of Slovenia. Also, it's also a lot of Serbian people that also get their treatment. They also get stuff in case they would only try to uh, rise against what you see here. The main enemy of this individual here was uh, President Tito. President Tito, his partisan movement, Yugoslav partisan movement, was the one that actually disbursed this garbage entirely. And it's this garbage, is this garbage that came to Slovenia at one point and have even threatened Slovenia with a lawsuit in respect to his his, is in a parenthesis, property in Slovenia. He was going to take it to the European court even for uh, human rights, which is totally, totally unheard of. So this individual 
who helped. I'm not going to say that he ruined my life, but this was one of the people that British government, on whose behalf, I'm going to say, on behalf of Queen Elizabeth, supported genocide against me. And have attempted, I'm Slovenian. I'm not Serbian and I'm not Yugoslavian. I'm a proud Slovenian and have attempted to even sue Slovenia on the court for the human rights in Strasbourg, in a European, basically in a German court. So this is the way that things go now. So they came here to cry what Slovenia have done to them. This is, this is basically what we have. And it's a really, really, these are just a simple facts. And these are going to be historical facts that these people are not going to change ever in respect to this. This is what he wanted from Slovenia. Nothing ever belonged to this family in Slovenia. None of this. These people never paid for anything in Slovenia. These people, the only thing that with these people that happened is they freeloaded in Slovenia. This is Slovenia. This is not Serbia. And the second thing is they got here freebies. They got a lot of freebies. For the cost of the rulership, Slovenia lost considerable amount of land of the territory. This is the legacy. This is their legacy. And it seems like they did not get enough from Slovenia. It seems like they would like to get more. I list these people as a terrorist, as an international terrorist. These people should be listed as international terrorists. 26 years of my life was destroyed literally through psychiatry, literally through the denial to even obtain employment in Slovenia. And all other issues I have stated. This is bizarre. This is incredible. This is unheard of. And it's my personal protest against Serbia today. Perhaps the most important I did not mention even. Next to this plan, the plan two was to manipulate freedom loving organizations, human rights organizations such as United Nations, Amnesty International, United Nations, fractional people, actually majority, US majority fighting for their rights to exist. pro-human rights, pro-freedom oriented people to whom this field have suggested that once they assemble Yugoslavia, they're going to take a turnabout and again go toward direction of President Tito, basically toward democracy, you know, that kind of stuff, Leninism and stuff like this. You must be really, really stupid to believe this stuff like this. Um, Vucic, Alexander Vucic, this is the same like Vladimir Putin. This is like completely, completely identical option of Vladimir Putin. This is a head of the Serbian movement in Bosnia. And if you read about this individual, it will become very, very, very evident to you that these are the people that supported Donald Trump throughout his presidency against you, against your right to even exist. With everything 
they had. The Serbian politicians, all of them supported Donald Trump against your existence with everything they had, with all, with everything they had, along with uh, Vladimir Putin, along with Kaczynski, along with Andrzej Duda in Poland. Throughout entire presidency, throughout entire Donald Trump's presidency, throughout entire Donald Trump's presidency, Donald Trump got the most vocal supporters right from Serbia, not even as much as from Russia, but from the Serbia, he got more vocal supporters than what he got in any other location worldwide, more than even in Russia, just so you understand what this is all about. I'm sure you recognize her. This is this is in Belgrade. You just just uh, just go and Google, and you're gonna get an idea what this was all about, what Donald Trump's presidency was all about. They wanted to name the base, American base, literally by Donald Trump and stuff like that in Poland. Nowhere did Donald Trump, the boss for the Klux Klux Klan, American Klux Klux Klan, got as much support as he got in Eastern Europe, especially in Serbia, but then also in Russia through Vladimir Putin and in Poland through Andrzej Duda, through Morawiecki. Kaczynski in Czech Republic through Babich, Andrzej Babich. And this thing is not going to go away at any time. 